It's funny, it's uh, very comical how even I will get called weird for not watching people fuck each other on a daily basis. A lot of men today are cowards. A lot of men today know with a fine discernment where their inadequacies are lying. And one of the most attractive elements I believe about my channel is that I'm willing to go into those dark places, those intimate places where men have a certain fragility around their behavior, more specifically their sexual identity. And I feel that the story of most modern mans is that they are addicted to sensation. In Robert Moore's book, King, Lover, Magician, you could diagnose the predicament of most modern men as being the addicted lover, addiction to feeling, addiction to sensation. And nowhere is there more, is that more prele uh, prevalent and illustrative in the use of pornography and adult material. You can throw a stone uh, from your bedroom window and it will hit some form of soft paw pornography, I, I guarantee it. There doesn't uh, go a day where you're not inundated by that kind of material. And what is interesting to note, uh, especially to any historians, is that the end of days is uh, typically signaled by this loose morals around nudity, sexuality, and gender. And don't be naive to the fact that we have arrived at that point in the year 2022. But therein lies a lot of hope and strength in communities like, uh, hopefully like mine and others who recognize this trend, this pattern of degeneracy that will ultimately lead us to our doom. So one of the, again, uh, strengths of my channel is shining a light on these places that would seek to condemn you to a life of mediocrity and degeneracy. So we are going to talk a little bit about the, what would you call it, the wealth of potential that lies tied up in your sexual energy. Now, one of the ways I illustrate this to my clients and anyone who has bought my product, Sexual Energy Mastering, is that the way to come around to the validation of this reality is that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. This is the first law of thermodynamics. This is in Einstein's famous quote, E equals MC squared, is that everything is energy. It's just energy manifesting in a different form, be it air, be it physical, tangible, uh, tactile feedback that you can get from solid items or the fluidity of the water. Um, it's just energy manifesting in different forms. And like energy can neither be created nor destroyed, it is also true in the aspect of uh, our biology, so our sexual energy, our sexual fluids. So the analogy I often give, and perhaps I'll kind of overlay this with a, a little diagram on my iPad, is this. So if you imagine that you are looking to get warm, say you're in a cold room and you're looking to get a little bit of heat, the most logical thing to do would go over to your radiator and turn it on or to your central heating and turn that on. And hopefully you're going to get a transmutation of electrical energy, of gas energy into heat energy. That is what we would call an efficient exchange of energy. If you take the same analogy and you can apply that to your sexual fluids, well, what is the primary function of a man's sexual fluid? It is to be transmutated to a woman and then again transmutated into a form of life. When you actually deep that reality, it uh, you know never makes it never fails to to really hit home that you have the potential to create another human being with his own hopes or her own hopes and dreams and. Um, you know, wishes on reality. But many men these days don't seem to be recognizing the inefficient use of that particular energy that you can squander that potential to create life in exchange for fleeting, finite, and frankly cheap pleasure. So 
it's an inefficient exchange of energy and the analogy I like to give is uh, the one of the desk lamp. So say we take that previous example of being quite cold and we want to get warm. Sure, you could turn on the radiator, which would be a more efficient exchange of energy, but you could also turn on your lamp. A lot of people would be questioning me now thinking, Joseph, why on earth would you turn on your lamp? if you're trying to achieve the function of getting warm. Well, one of the byproducts of the lamp is that it's gonna get a little bit hot. And in the same way, in the same puzzlement, in the same bemusement, uh, in the same, you know, just non-rational, non-logical way of thinking, many men are taking that exact same choice with their sexual energy. They are not using it for its primary function of creating life. They're using it for the cheap, um, inefficient, and uh, side effect of getting that pleasure and that gratification. So when we can come home to the reality of what the actual function of this is for, then the act, the compulsive behavior to constantly self-pleasure ourselves becomes uh, ludicrous, it becomes psychotic, it becomes nonsensical. And, um, you know, it's funny, it's uh, very comical how even I will get called weird for not watching people fuck each other on a daily basis and actually choose to use that energy for creating businesses, um, working on my physique, being a conduit to hopefully receiving some spiritual downloads, strengthen my relationships and uh, hopefully give back to my community in a positive way instead of mindlessly losing myself in that downward slippery slope spiral of self-indulgence so men this video was really a reality check in the fact that you have so much potential so much energy again think about how much energy that you're losing through that degenerate habit habit and what you could do instead with that energy it might sound you know, trite and maybe folly, but if you're in a particularly uh, dark place in your life, you're not where you want to be financially, you're not where you want to be in terms of women um, or business or uh, any aspect that is failing, it all starts in the small things that you can take control over. And imagine the power, imagine what you could harness when you stop, you know, losing that energy to habits that again are, are not being conducive to your well-being it's like uh, filling up a water tank but you've got a big hole or uh, better analogy sitting in a boat and you've got a big hole at the bottom of the boat that's just pouring out um, and flooding your chances of getting where you need to go fix that leak and I promise you the journey will be far more pleasant gentlemen if you enjoyed this video you can subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again very soon take care